Welcome to International Securities Exchange's podcast series. Facilitated by renowned educators, ISE podcasts are intended to teach beginning as well as seasoned investors the ins and outs of trading. To find an updated list of podcasts, please visit www.isc.com slash podcasts. Please be sure to listen to our important message following this episode regarding the risks of investing in exchange-traded options. Why don't we uh, like, take one, one more question? South says, yeah. uh, do you exit the positions on the touch of the pivot point, or are you looking for a clear break? Oh, yeah, interesting question. Uh, depend, um, depends the configuration, I want to, I want to say. Because um, sometimes you have fast breakout, especially on on key area. Uh, for example, if I share my desktop again, sure, I can show you an example on CDD maybe. Tick tick CDD just there. Um, no, I was perfect on CDD, so it's a bad example, but. For example, uh, when you ah yes, I have the example because there, just there, if you can see, we had a downside breakout of the neckline of the double top. Okay, but the pullback has been uh, a little bit more uh, too much aggressive because um, the pair. Break, broke above the neckline at 117.65. But in this case, uh, uh, if you put exactly your pivot point exactly on the neckline, uh, and if you cut your short position uh, just uh, just on the pivot point, it's uh, it's not it's not a good idea. But so if you are a key a key level. Uh, with a strong validation of a, of a long-term pattern like uh, CDD with the double top, if you break there, and if you if, and if the pullback is a little bit uh, too much violent, you can keep your short position and to 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 set your pivot point a little bit higher. But uh, uh, depends the configuration. But if you want to be uh, really strict. With your trading uh, trading rules, you have to to close the position when the, the pivot point uh, uh, is reached. So the, the main the main goal of the pivot point is, uh, the, 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 is to to set correctly uh, the, the pivot point and not and not um, in the middle of uh, of the wood. <laughs> you have to 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 keep uh, to keep it uh, in mind. You set your pivot point at just below or just above a key um, a key area to to avoid a fast breakout, for example. I hope I was clear. Yes, absolutely. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I think that's about it, Cyril. Uh, do you have any closing comments? Uh, no, just to, to say thank you. Uh, Thank you, everybody, to to to, to join us, and uh, you and thank you for your attention and your questions, you and your interest. <laughs> that, that's it for me. Cyril, you made it interesting. So uh, most folks hung around for uh, all the questions and your answers. So I, I know it was interesting. I want to remind everyone again. I want to thank you, Cyril. You did a great job. You know, because again, it's nice you. that you had the theory, but you also had the live charts, which was great. So thanks again. Thank you. Thank you very much. I uh, want to remind everyone to go to www.isc.com forward slash FXTV, um, where you can go and see what's happening as far as Trading Central's views on the different pairs. So you can go and check that out. Cyril, how often is that uh, published or on that, uh, on that TV? Do you know? Uh, the next webinar? No, I'm the FX TV. Ah, FX TV is is released uh, every Wednesday when, or every Wednesday. So if you want to stay abreast of Trading Central, and you know, Cyril actually, that's um, somebody's reporting that, but that's, these are Cyril's uh, opinions. 
uh, and trading recommendations. So please, on Wednesdays, um, you can go to the site and check that out. Yeah, let's go and see when you're going to be uh, here next. Zero. So, sorry, excuse me. Oh, uh, I'm just going to go to the schedule. And Cyril, let's see, when is your next one? Is that going to be April 8th? Is that correct? Uh, 8th. April 8th, exactly. Okay. So April 8th, Cyril will be back with us. So with, what is that, about uh, five weeks from now or so. And we'll see how the U.S. dollar is doing relative to the majors. We'll see if uh, the dollar rally is continuing, as Ciro is predicting. Remember, you always need to trade in a flexible manner. You might see something else occurring. We, you know, Ciro's going to stay on top of it, and you might want to, of course, continue reading uh, the Trading Central's recommendations, implementing, as Ciro said, either you implement them all or um, quite possibly you know, none of the recommendations. If you start picking and choosing the ones that you like, as Cyril says that uh, obviously it's riskier than if you were to implement all the, the uh, different trades. Correct, Cyril? Correct, exactly. So okay, I want to thank you, Cyril. Th thank, thank, you, thank you, everybody, and uh, have a nice one, and uh, see you on uh, April 8th. Merci. Merci. <laughs> so Cyril did a great job. And I uh, just want to remind everyone that uh, Tony Hansen will be back at the ISC next week, March 2nd, and then John Person on March 9th. So those will be the upcoming webinars. You can always listen to this via archive. Again, go to fxoptions.com and um, you go to the events, and you'll be able to listen to this again. Uh, I'd highly recommend it. Cyril was spot on. Uh, four or five weeks ago when he was with us, he talked about the potential for the dollar rallying uh, against the euro, and that he was really right on there. Uh, now uh, his new idea is dollar rallying, but against the Canadian. He was more neutral the last time he was with us, and now he believes that the U.S. dollar uh, might rally against the Canadian, also against the New Zealand and the Australian, but he really prefers the Canadian. So uh, go and look at the options. The Symbol there is CDD, um, trade when you think it's appropriate, um, and find the option strategy that makes sense for you. On the behalf of the International Securities Exchange, this is Steve Meisinger, your host, wishing you a safe and happy trading day, and please come back and join us real soon. Don't forget our site, fxoptions.com, where we have webinars, trade alerts, FX Options TV, the FX Options University. We also have trader forums. So, again, thank you so much. On behalf of the IAC, have a great day. Bye now. Thank you for listening to our podcast. To find more podcasts on options, stocks, alternative markets, and market data, please visit www.isc.com slash podcasts.